Hi there. So today I'm going to be talking about tweened stores, and um, they're basically like regular stores, but that they move from one value to another value uh, with intermediate steps. So rather, if you set a store value from 0 to 1, it'll go like uh, 0, 0 0.1, or 0 0.01, blah, blah, blah. It'll go through a bunch of intermediate steps to get to 1, so it won't just instantly change. So let me show you what I mean. So, oops. So you're going to make a .js file, and you're going to import tweened from, it's called svelte slash motion, but it functions, I'm fairly sure, just like a store, though correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then I'm going to export const, um, I'll just call it tweened store, equals tweened, and then a value. So the value I'm, needs to be a number. You can't go, because there needs to be intermediate values. So it's kind of like a transition. Um, so it needs to be just a number. Okay, and then here, over here, I'm going to import the um, the tweened store from store.js. So now I'll have access to it. And right here, I'm just going to put in the dollar sign to access the value tweened store. Okay, you'll see it, it is zero. Now, um, I'm going to show you what happens if I set it to one. So let's say I have this function called um, set to one and a button, button that when you click it, set to one. And this will just set the tweened store value to one. So when I click it, you'll see it, rather than just going immediately to one, like in a normal store, it goes, actually it should just be add one. It goes up like that, okay? So you might be wondering why would you want to do this? This looks weird. And a good use case of that is if you had some kind of, let's say I have a div, um, you might want to animate your um, something on something on here. So for example, if I have this div and I'm going to make it a square, just height 100 pixels, width 100 pixels, background blue. Okay, there's my square. And then here I'm going to be changing the style. Um, you could do like a transform or something. There's some cool stuff you could do here. So transform Maybe you want to scale it by whatever the value of the tween store is. Um, tweened store. Okay, so right now it's at zero. It's scaled at zero, but if I go one, it gets bigger. Oh, and then it it covers it up. Um, so that's what. So that's one thing you can do. Let me. Boop. So it's kind of animating in like that because the scale is going through all these intermediate values before it lands at the two. Okay, so it's being scaled by two like that. And there's lots of things you could do that with that. You could do color, you could do um, you could do position, make it move around. This could be like translate or something. Um, and then another thing remember is that you can import something like cubic out from uh, svelte slash easing. Let me hopefully I do this right. And then easing would be cubic out. Let's, yeah, so that's a rather than just going directly zero to one in a linear fashion, it'll go get a lot bigger and then slow down. Um, and yeah, so I should have mentioned here also there this tween store you can pass it uh, pass it uh, parameters. So if you want the duration to be longer, you can make the duration like five seconds or something, and this will make it slope more slowly go over the whole amount there. And then there's also like a, a delay. And you can look at the documentation and in the, oh, yeah. Uh, the tutorial, if you go to tutorial and look up tween stores, they have some good examples. Maybe I'll go there now. Um, where is it? Motion tweened. Yeah, they've got a cool example here. So a normal store would just set it automatically, no animation or anything. But if you have them show me, it will go like that. And it's a nicer animation. And that is a tween store.